in 2017, Ruger introduced their PC carbine, which was a nice little 9mm semi-auto carbine that uh, took Glock mags and all that kind of good stuff. It was proved to be very popular and it was really a nicely featured gun at a very reasonable price. They redesigned their pistol caliber carbine for the 5.7 by 28 and uh, brought it out as the LC carbine. And right now, they are introducing the LC carbine in 45 ACP. This is a really neat little pistol caliber carbine and it's different from the PC carbine in a whole lot of different ways. The receiver is aluminum and finished in black. It's very nice to look at. The LC carbine features what Ruger calls a bolt over barrel design and that allows the center of mass to be right in the center of the gun. So right here where the grip is at is the center of mass. It makes it handle really, really well and balances perfectly right in the middle where it ought to. The barrel is 16 and a quarter inches and it's threaded at the end for a standard muzzle brake or suppressor or whatever kind of muzzle device you've got on here. It's got a standard thread on it and it comes with a steel thread protector. The handguard is CNC milled aluminum with a type 3 hard anodized coating and it's got M-lock slots on seven sides of it. It's got a picatinny rail on top that extends back over the receiver all the way to the rear of the receiver. There's a really generous length of picatinny rail, plenty of room to put any kind of M-lock accessories you want to put, and there's also a length of picatinny rail on the bottom of the receiver. At the rear of the receiver, there's a little section of picatinny rail here also that allows you to change out this buttstock for AR pattern stocks or whatever you want to do. I love the stock on this. It's adjustable in length very easily. You just pull that like a trigger. But this is also a folding stock. Very easily folds by pushing a button and just folding it over. It's also reversible so you can fold it to the other side if you want to for left-handed shooters. The buttstock has a QD sling attachment port built into it. And there is also included a M-lock QD sling socket to attach the QD sling to the forend however you want to. Also for left-handed shooters, the charging handle is reversible. The charging handle does not reciprocate so you don't have to worry about having your thumb out there in front of it when you're shooting. Also, there's an ambidextrous bolt release here on the port side, right in front of the ambidextrous safety, and on the starboard side, right in front of the trigger guard. Makes it really easy to release your bolt from there. The LC carbine comes with a 13 round mag. This is a plastic mag with a steel inside of it. It's very nice and it uh, feeds very well. It's very smooth. It comes with this 13 round mag, but the LC carbine is compatible with Glock 45 magazines. Any full size Glock 45 magazines will work in this, whatever the capacity is. If they're extending capacity, they work just fine. Standard full size capacity works just fine. That makes it really easy to find extra magazines at a reasonable price for the LC carbine. Also, thankfully, there is no magazine disconnect. I don't really like a magazine disconnect, and I'm glad to see that Ruger did not include this on the LC carbine. The LC carbine also features Ruger's secure action fire control system, which combines a protected internal hammer with a bladed safety trigger system. The trigger pull, on my example, was very nice. A little bit of take up, but it breaks very cleanly at two pounds, 10.8 ounces without any discernible over travel. It's a nice little trigger for this. Makes it easy to obtain good accuracy with the LC carbine. Shooting bench rested at 25 yards. Five shot groups of a half inch was easy to obtain when using an optical sight especially. Also included with the LC carbine is a set of Ruger's rapid deploy sights. The rear sight and the front sight are both fully adjustable and any of you who are familiar with AR pattern sights will be able to use these with no problem. They're a really nice set of backup sights or you can use them for your primary sights. They're plenty enough precise for that. But there's about a half a mile of pick rail on top of this thing to mount an optic and the optic I chose for this is one that I use quite a bit. It's a Trigicon MRO dot sight. The MRO is rugged and reliable. It has a two MOA red dot in it, which is adjustable to six different brightness settings, fully adjustable for windage and elevation. It presents a really bright dot for daylight situations. You can dial it down for lower lighting conditions. The battery on this thing lasts literally for years. I don't even know how long this battery is gonna last. I've had the same battery in this thing for several years. The Trigicon MRO is rugged and reliable. 
current MSRP on the Trigicon MRO is $605. I've got my Trigicon MRO in a one-third co-witness mount, which is the perfect height for this type of application. The mount for this is $64 from Trigicon. The classic load for the 45 ACP from its development was the 230 grain ball load. It's a round nose, full metal jacket, running about 800, maybe 900 feet per second out of a five inch barrel. Out of this carbine length barrel, it's picking up a couple hundred feet over that. Double Taps 230 grain full metal jacket flat point is akin to the ball load, but it's uh, got a flat point on the end of it. It parts just a little bit more smack to the target because of that. And also it's running a couple of hundred feet per second faster than the ball load. An excellent load for social work from Double Tap is their 230 grain bonded defense. It's a very well designed jacketed hollow point bullet moving a thousand feet per second out of a five inch barrel so it's picking up a couple hundred feet per second more than that out of this carbine length barrel. It's an excellent self defense load. Unlike many pistol caliber carbines, the LC carbine is rated for plus P ammo. And a great plus P low for social work is Lehigh Defense's controlled fracturing 170 grain all copper hollow point bullet. It too is running about 12, 1300 feet per second out of this carbine length barrel. It's a deeply scored bullet. It expands very well. We tested the Lehigh Defense ammo in gelatin a long time ago, and it was really impressive. The amount of shock and tissue damage as well as penetration from the Lehigh Defense load. It's a wonderful load. The Ruger LC Carbine 45 ACP is being introduced at this year's SHOT Show Media Day, so it's brand new on the market. As Ruger always does, they've got these in the pipeline right now. You should be able to get you one of these very quickly. With their LC Carbine, Ruger has brought the pistol caliber carbine to a new level. It's very easy to handle. It balances perfectly. It's rugged. It's reliable. It's tough as a pine knot. It's really easy to store with the fold and stock and all. It's got every feature that you could want and nothing that you don't want in this thing. It's, it's really a nicely fitted out deal. Check them out at Ruger.com. To find the LC Carbine or other Ruger products in your area, get on to Lipsy's website at Lipsy's.com. Click on the dealer finder. Lipsy's is a big distributor down in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and they have a nationwide network of dealers that no matter where you are, there's a Lipsy's affiliated dealer close to you. You get on their dealer finder, put in your location, and they'll give you a list of dealers within your specified radius that can get you one of these from Lipsy's. It's a great way to find guns because Lipsy's uses their buying power as such a big distributor to help you get what you want through their dealer network.